kick back and the whammy could change a man's tone. Um, obviously, if you're from certain certain parts, you know what a whammy is. I don't want to go into too much detail about that. But it's just basically saying like certain people think they're a certain way until certain things appear is the best way I could put that. My little cousin told me to step it up. And every time they think their levels, you just level up. Basically, I was having a conversation with my little cousin and we was talking about just music in general. And he was saying to me like, yo, have you not noticed like every single time you put like a project out, like it gets better and better and better. And I said, yeah. And he was kind of like, he's saying, yeah, but when he said step it up, he was kind of talking about the work rate. So he's saying, yeah, you put out projects and they're hard, but like you can, your consistency, you, it's not there. So in, when he was saying to me, step it up, he's kind of telling me to step it up with the consistency and the work rate and stuff like that. He's saying like, yeah, your, your work is quality, but where, where's, the, where's, the, like, where's the delivery at? Because people are like waiting on it. And he was just basically kind of saying to me like, you must kind of make it hard for other people because you come out with one thing and then they think, not necessarily everybody, we was just talking about certain and certain people, but he's saying like, oh, it must be mad for them because they think, yeah, this is your level and they think this is all you can do. And then you drop another tape and you're doing different, different things on it, you get me? So that's what he meant by every time they think their levels, you just level up and that's that. I wrote a mixtape on a plane. That's all facts, by the way. I, <laughs> I, was, um, I was on a flight. I was going to Cuba, this was ages ago. I was on a flight to Cuba, and if you've been to Cuba, you know, it's like a nine, 10 hour flight. And I was just there, I had my little, my little iPad mini. <laughs> I was just, had my headphones in. I just loaded up the iPad with bare beats, movies, but I didn't watch a single film. I just had bare beats, just bare beats banging in the headphones. And I literally read like nine tracks. I'm Popeye with a spin, he's talking rough beginnings. <laughs> uh, basically, on Popeye with the spinach, everybody knows what happens when Popeye pops the spinach in it, like muscle thing. So that's what I'm saying. It's kind of com it's a compliment to myself. Like I'm just kind of saying, like yes, the biceps are there, basically. And I'm just talking about where I came from, how I started. I'm just talking life. So I'm Popeye with the spinach, Tina Turner in the beef, spinner in your face. Everybody knows who Tina Turner is. Um, Obviously, this is just slang talking it. Um, people know what a turner is and you know what a spinner is. You can kind of figure out the rest for yourself. I don't want to touch too much on that. I say rap needs me because I don't need rap. Um, that again, when I was writing the song, I just wanted to come across bossy, cocky in a way. So that's me kind of saying like, I don't need to do this rap stuff. Like I'm the missing piece to this that's not the missing piece for me. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So again, I was just being cocky and saying that I don't need to rap. Like realistically, this rap game needs me because I'm different and I bring something different to the game. I used to battle on my trainers, bed, dead crepes. Yeah, man, that <laughs> kind of speaks for itself. I used to like, obviously when I was like 14, 15, trainers weren't really important to me. Um, not saying they weren't important, sorry, but obviously the funds weren't there, couldn't really, have six, seven pairs of trainers and whatever. And yeah, bro, like it was me and the man was exactly the same. Like we used to wear one pair of trainers for like six, seven, eight months and that's not normal, bro, if you get me. And y'all used to laugh at my trainers and all of that stuff. I haven't forgot nobody that did that either. But yeah, man, I used to battle on my trainers, bed, dead crepes. Yeah, man, facts. Didn't really hold trainers in High regard, it was just a thing, man, we play football in them, man, we'd be doing road, anything, bro, you're just doing anything in your trainers, you don't really care about them. And now I step out and I check them every 10 steps. Facts, like, especially if you got a pair of, like I got on now, like fresh Air Force, bro, you gotta make sure you're not scuffing them up when you're walking, do you know what I mean? Like, that's basically what the bar means. I'm walking and I'm just making sure I'm not mashing up my trainers when I'm walking. It's like I care more about my appearance now, do you know what I mean? I'm older and Again, image is a very, very big part of life, so yeah, that's what I mean by that.